Well, hello there. Sorry the boat's a little bit of a mess, but we're getting ready to leave. The first order of business we have to do today is go grocery shopping. There are a few important things that I have requested on this grocery shopping mission, so I need to go to make sure I have my eyes on them. And you know me, I could never turn down a proper dinghy ride. Much to my dismay, the lady said only they could go grocery shopping, so I got left behind. Although I bet they really wish they had me for support now. I told you I needed to keep my eyes on them, so I set up a hidden camera to make sure they got the most important item on the list. I think they're on the wrong aisle. I really don't want ketchup or mayonnaise in my bowl. And Catherine, I have faith in you. Let's see what you got. Um, not exactly what I'm looking for. I really wish this camera had a microphone. I need to tell them that they're forgetting something. There it is. I knew they couldn't forget about me. Although I'm a little concerned. Who stuck Cousin Miley on the side of a dog food bag? It's good to see you, Miles. I'll figure out a way to get you out of there. Aunt Catherine for the win yet again. She's taking good care of my crunchies and, uh... Miley! out of time. I missed you guys and I'm hungry. Make sure you take care of those goods, dad man. The humans call this the jetty swish. They put me in the water, dangle me in, and try to get all the sand off. Little do they know, it never works all the way and I get sand all over the boat. You know what makes everything better? Downward dog and upward dog. Ah, uh, the goods have arrived safely. Now it's time to put all the other purchases away. I'm here to provide moral support and make sure everything is organized correctly. And then, to much of my surprise, I was offered another dinghy ride. It did smell a little fishy, though. I knew that dinghy ride didn't come for free. They had a vet waiting for me in the parking lot. As you all know, I'm typically not a big fan of the vet, but she gave some really nice back and ear scratches. Mom and Dad did a lot of blabbering about importing me to our next country. Sounds like I'm some sort of animal or something. Ooh, yeah, that feels real nice. This vet was so good, I could barely even tell when she gave me a shot. But I could still tell. I was rewarded for my good behavior with a treat and surfing. Yes, I know, I'm a dog of many, many talents, but we had to make sure we made the most of our very last day here in Grenada. Thanks so much for watching folks and make sure you subscribe for more gypsy fun!